In this video I'm going to see if we can fix this display problem with my Flute 12 multimeter. As you can see some of the numbers are not displaying correctly. And um, I think I should be able to resolve this problem by disassembling the meter to see if we may have a bad compression uh, fitting. Typically these displays on these flukes are uh, just a compression type fitting. So we'll just take it out of its protective case here. Meters held together with four screws. Okay, battery is held inside the back case here. Here's the, the actual meter itself. And the meter is held together with these plastic tabs on either side. So all I need to do is just remove just release these plastic tabs and the circuit board should lift out on this unit. tabs at the top here too. There we go. Now the circuit board should just lift straight out. And what we find on this is the display just has these two these are a rubberized type connection that just they have uh, they, they, they appear to be just pieces of rubber but they actually have contacts through here which connect the display to the circuit board. They're just a pressure fit connection to these pads here. I'm just gonna get an eraser and wipe these contacts off to make sure that there's no, uh, no oil or anything on them that's going to cause a problem with the connection. And then we'll put it back together because that's usually all that goes wrong with these meters. I like this, made in USA. This is a real fluke. So one of the best things for cleaning contacts like this is just to take an eraser and wipe it over the contacts a few times. This one here is actually for the key switches and this one's for the display. So we're just going to drag this across the connection here. Okay, and now we'll just try reassembling the unit. Press it back together. It should just, just, should just snap together. There. I think everything is now snapped in. And now I can put the back back on it. Snap it together. There you go. The display is fixed. That's how you fix a Fluke 12 multimeter or probably any of the other American made flukes that have got that flaky display where you're, you're losing segments. Replace the screws. You know, I bought this meter, I forget when, it was probably 20, 25 years ago. Um, I bought it at a, bought it at a ham radio convention. I think I paid 10 or $15. For, it was 
it was dirt cheap. I had to buy some probes for it because the, the probes were missing. I paid more for the probes than the meter, but this thing has been a great meter. Very accurate. Okay, we're into, whoops, we're into ohms mode now. Put our probes together. Okay, 0.2 ohms, 0.1 ohms. That'll be the resistance of the probes, by the way. Um, diode test mode. Back over to uh, capacitor test mode. If I want to test a capacitor, here I have a capacitor. This will test capacity. This is not ESR. This is the microfarads of the capacitor. Seven hundred and seven hundred and eighty. This is a six hundred and eighty two hundred volt. So that cap capacity wise is fine. But again to test capacitors, don't use one of these. Use an ESR meter. Uh, ESR meter will be accurate and tell you whether your tell you whether your um, capacitor is going bad or not. Voltage test four double A batteries. Oops. Connection to this thing. Six point four. It works. That's how you fix a fluke twelve if you're having the flaky display. The same thing on and I knew that because I've had to fix this thing a few times. This isn't the first time I've had to do this. I had buttons that weren't working either. Like the, the buttons wouldn't turn on, like several buttons wouldn't work. Like I couldn't switch between AC and DC and the range buttons wasn't working and the memory button wasn't working. Uh, same thing, it was the, the bottom ones. And that's that's how I knew going into this what the problem was going to be because I, I did this a few years ago. It's just a, a, a problem that these fluke meters have. So I figured I would share that quick fix. So you're not throwing out a perfectly good meter because these are really good ones. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one.